as you should all be aware of by now, the Spring portfolio is in the process of driving towards the next major versions to be released in November of 2025. This will be the only the fourth major generation of Spring Boot and the seventh generation of Spring Framework in its over 20 year history. With that in mind, we wanted to spend some time making you aware of these new capabilities. To do that, each week from now until Spring Boot 4.0 goes GA in November, we will have a weekly blog post about a new capability in the upcoming release. I will share the link to this blog post in the description below, but here Michael Manila kind of lays out what I've just said, and here is the schedule for all of the blog posts that are going to happen. So starting on September 9th, we'll talk about core spring resiliency features, uh, including retriable and retry template. We'll get into API versioning, HTTP service clients, the state of HTTP clients in spring. Uh, Jackson 3 is being updated across the portfolio, so we'll talk about that. Uh, we'll talk about share consumers, modulizing Spring Boot, which is a really cool feature that I just learned about when I was at Spring 1. Progressive authorization in Spring Security. Spring GRPC, which is a new Spring Boot module that I'm really excited about. Another big enhancement to the portfolio is null safe applications in Spring Boot 4. This is the JSpecify work that's being done across the portfolio. Uh, open telemetry with Spring Boot and ahead of time repositories. So I'll leave a link to this in the description below. Really excited about this list of blog posts that's going to be coming out. Uh, pay attention to spring.io slash blog if you want to check them out.